Good evening and welcome to the Channel Studios here in London with your international news around the world in five. Ukraine's army says Russia is trying to destroy the remaining soldiers holed up in the Azovstal steelworks plant in Mariupol. The steelworks is the last remaining place in the key city held by Ukrainian forces. Around 200 soldiers are injured inside the compound and conditions are reported to be particularly bleak with supplies of food and medicine running out fast. The commander of the far-right Azov regiment said they were fighting difficult, bloody battles against Russian troops. Russia's Ministry of Defense claims they have killed over 600 Ukrainians overnight. Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky said a further 344 civilians have been evacuated from Mariupol. Russia's defense ministry has released footage of a nighttime rehearsal of the country's annual Victory Day parade, which commemorates the Soviet Union's victory over Nazi Germany in the Second World War. Military personnel and military vehicles, including tanks and missile launchers, paraded on Wednesday evening through Moscow's central Red Square. This year's parade on May the 9th will take place against the backdrop of what Russia calls its special military operation in Ukraine. Russian President Vladimir Putin is due to deliver a speech and oversee the military parade. Rescuers in the central Chinese city of Changsha have pulled a woman alive from the rubble of a six-story building six days after it collapsed. She was conscious during her extraction just after midnight and advised rescuers how to bring her out safely. Ten people are known to have survived the disaster, but at least five were killed and dozens are still missing. Arrests have been made as the building's safety is investigated. Colombia has extradited Dairo Antonio Usaga, an accused drug trafficker and leader of the Clan del Golfo criminal gang to the United States. Known as Otoniel, authorities say the 50-year-old is responsible for the deaths of hundreds of members of Colombia's security forces and is wanted in the United States for crimes including drug trafficking, conspiracy and illegal possession of weapons. Que ha sido extraditado. Colombian authorities say he trafficked between 180 and 200 tons of cocaine a year with the Clan del Golfo. He was detained last October in Antioquia province. Millions of people are expected to take part in elections across the UK after polling stations opened on Thursday morning for the local elections. Voters in England, Scotland and Wales will choose the local councillors they want to run services that affect their everyday lives in the area. Here, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson casting his vote in central London. While the leader of the opposition, Sir Keir Starmer, cast his ballot alongside his wife. It's seen as a bellwether for what the electorate think of Boris Johnson and the current Conservative government. Most results should be known by Friday evening. Severe storms have caused several tornadoes across Oklahoma, causing widespread damage in Seminole County. Some structures or some homes, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it. The Storm Prediction Center said the storms were part of a severe weather system forecast to threaten parts of central and southwest Oklahoma into north Texas. Damage captured by aerial cameras showed some structures completely flattened and streets littered with debris about 50 miles southeast of Oklahoma City. More than 14,000 customers have been left without power after severe weather conditions downed power lines and trees across the state. Pope Francis has used a wheelchair in public for the first time since a new flare-up of pain in his knee has limited his ability to walk. At an audience for a group of nuns, Francis was wheeled to his seat on the stage. Since the latest flare-up in the past two months, he had been able to walk some 10 metres from the side entrance of the stage to his seat at the centre, albeit with a little help from aides. And finally, three years later than scheduled, Top Gun is back and so too is its leading man. Tom Cruise, who is no stranger to stunts, arrived via helicopter onto an aircraft carrier in San Diego for the film's premiere. Top Gun Maverick was originally scheduled for release in July 2019, but was initially delayed because of production issues. Then its release was pushed back numerous times because of the global pandemic. Those are your pilots. The sequel returns 36 years after the iconic first film, which saw crews propelled to stardom. And that's your international news around the world in five. Now back to the channel's studios in Lagos.